Hi, this is Allison H. Larson, and today I'm going to be talking to you about the 321 feedback formula. This is a formula that you can use to get feedback from somebody after you give a presentation, after you do a Facebook Live, after you record a video and you show it to somebody. So this can either be done in your small group or it can be done one-on-one -on -one with people. So here's what the 321 formula is. You're going to go through three things. If you're the person giving the presentation, you're going to say three things that you thought you did really well. You're gonna state two things that you thought didn't go well or could have gone better, and one do differently. So three things you did well, two things you could have done better, one do differently, one action step moving forward for next time. So if you just did a Facebook Live, if you just did a video, if you just presented on stage, you're going to get in your small group or you're gonna find a partner. And you're gonna to express to them the three things you thought went really well. Maybe you thought that you did really well at staying on time. Maybe you thought you did really well at being clear and concise. And you thought you did really well at being able to wear something that expressed your brand and who you were. And then you're gonna state two things that you didn't like or you wish would have, or you thought, well, they could have gone better, right? <laughs> so number one, you might say, I, I didn't think that uh, I did a very good job keeping eye contact with people or with the camera. And number two, I think that I, I didn't really like how I first showed up on stage. I felt like I stumbled a little bit over the introduction part. And the one thing that I'm going to do differently next time is I'm going to prepare myself before I get on stage. I'm actually gonna listen to a song that gets me pumped up and make sure that I'm ready to go right when I first step on stage. Okay, so that's what it looks like if you're the person who just did the video. Now, if you're the person that's listening to that feedback, this is how it goes for you. You're going to repeat back the three things that, you, that they thought they did well. So if I'm listening to somebody giving that feedback, I would say, yes, I agree with you that your stage presence was great. I agree that you did great on time, but I don't agree that you, what you were wearing really matched your brand. So you can decide whether you agree or disagree with them. So you can either validate them or you can say, ah, I don't really agree with that. And then you're gonna add one more positive thing, one thing you thought they did really well. So you can agree with all three or you can say, yes, I, I think that's true or no, I, I don't really agree with that. But then you're gonna add one positive thing. So you're gonna say, and I also thought what you did really well was you projected your voice in a way that everybody heard you and you were so expressive in the way that you projected your voice. So you're gonna add one thing that you thought that they did really well. Now you may have a million things that, that you thought they did well, but pick the one most important thing. And here's what's really important. When you're giving feedback to somebody, it's really important that you keep it concise and short. They've already identified three things that they thought they did well and you've either agreed or you said, eh, I don't really agree with that. Now give them one piece that you think that they did really well. Then you're gonna focus on the two things that they thought they could have done better. And again, you're gonna agree or disagree. Oh, I agree that you did not start with the best energy and uh, that you stumbled over your words. And I don't agree with this. I actually thought you did pretty well at being able to whatever it was that they criticized themselves on. And be honest here, sometimes people can be overly critical. So if you don't agree with what they didn't like, then just tell them, hey, I think you're being too hard on yourself. Or yeah, I agree, I see your point. I think you could have done better at that. And then you're gonna add one thing that you think they could have done better at the end of that. So you agree or disagree with those two things that you thought, that they thought they could have done different. And then add one more thing that you think they could have done different. And I think that you could have ended with a higher energy or end, I think that you could have whatever your piece of advice is moving forward. Now again, just like the compliments, just like the three things that they thought they did really well, you may have a million things that they, you thought they did really well, narrow it down to one. You have, may have a million suggestions and ideas for them, but narrow it down to the one most important thing moving forward. If you overwhelm somebody with criticism or with, even if it's constructive or with feedback, that can get overwhelming. So pick the one, thing that you thought they could have done better that you want to express and focus on expressing that one thing. And then when it comes to the do differently, just simply ask, repeat their do differently and say, how can I support you in this? So this is the three, two, one feedback formula. So remember, three things you thought you did really well, two things that you would do differently or wish would have gone better, and one action step or do differently moving forward for next time. If you're the person listening, make sure and validate those three things. 
and add one more thing you thought that they did really well, validate the two things, add one more thing you thought they could change, and then ask how you could support them in their do differently. That is the 3-2-1 formula that you will be using to help give feedback to each other throughout this program.